Welcome back. And um, joining me tonight is just Tim. Jonathan's taking the night off. And uh, it's all kicking off in the north, in, uh, in around me in Turkey. I've started the invasion on Greece and I've taken Heraklion with... Um, had a couple of destroyers there to take out any troops that might have been there and then landed a couple of troops, split them up, took the mountain range either side, sent them back, and they're going to sit on there till midnight and um, see how much morale we gain, but they'll they'll be on there for a couple of days. Sent the destroyers up the coast to the next target, just to see, and there's no one there, and I've started cracking into Serbia. I'd, I'd only really taken one tile of their territory. I think they were actually coming after Greece, but have, have hit me instead. Or maybe they saw that I declared war, and I don't know. We'll, we'll see, but they're sending a troop toward me. And there's another unidentified object there. It's a, a troop as well. I don't know how many are in the stack. But I'm sending up my big stack. So I've got tank destroyer, two armoured fighting vehicles, and a SAM launcher. They're going to crack into it. And maybe um, maybe they could go on to the to Sophia, the rare material city. And Tim, have you seen what Jonathan's doing in the Crimea? Oh yeah, he's hopped his uh, airborne over there. Yeah, nice. Set up a little. I suppose he'll set up a uh, air base on there, only for a sort of launch pad into the rest of. Ukraine. Yeah. He'd probably reach Belarus from there actually, um, with an aircraft. Probably just is. about in range. Yeah, I think you can reach quite a lot anyway from my capital, so quite that's why I'm quite keen to get this um anti air out. So I've got yeah. an anti air. Yeah, I've got a mobile SAM on Istanbul, and then I've got one with my big stack that's in an Alexandra Polis, and then I'm I'm shortly gonna be building another one. Yeah, in an hour and a half that I can put on Samsung or I can put in the capital. It'll probably, yeah, I'll probably just send it to Samsung. And then once midnight ticks over in tra Transcaucasian country, I can move a couple of troops and combat recons to occupy Samsung just so I've got a bit of defense. I feel a bit, a bit exposed, really, in the in some of my home cities but uh, yeah. tim earlier today I, I flew my aircraft all around the ukraine i went up to kiev and had a good look into the ukraine's home city and they had a boat coming down the river with two troops going into kiev and they had a troop already or an unidentified number of troops it was sort of you know with the question mark and grayed out i couldn't quite get close enough yeah and then I had a look at Odessa, which is their rare materials home home city, and and there's nothing there. So I mean, mm. I was going to say to Jonathan if he was on tonight, do you fancy hopping over and taking it? But equally, it will give us a better a better hit of surprise when I uh, when I unleash my little nasty surprise I've got for them, which I'll yeah. uh, keep to myself for now. Looks like the Hmm, not sure where that Serbian troop's gone. It seems to have disappeared off. Maybe they saw what was there and headed back. But we'll uh, yeah, we'll take a load of land. Of yeah, I'm going to do a huge land grab and see how far I can take this. I've got like other troops coming in. I've got okay, yeah, got a couple of spare motorized infantry now. They can help land grab. Um, fact, I'll. I'll send one of them over here. Yeah, that's going to be in time for midnight. Three hours, I think. Nope, quarter past midnight. Let's rush them for a little while and take it off. Okay, your troops are healing very nicely, Tim. Yeah, not far off now. Um, probably be ready. The, the infantry are nearly ready. Just a little bit longer on the on the recons for yeah. tomorrow um i've got a airbase building in um bajand in iran sort of on the border of the rest of the middle east so that's where i've got most of, uh well like the other half of my troops just waiting for that airbase to be ready and then i'll fly all the all of them in from ankara oh nice uh, and it only needs to be 40 percent complete doesn't it so another seven percent to go yeah okay. yeah yeah 
cool. Some chosen there. Oh, you've got a nice big stack. Oh, okay, and your infantry offers uh, is a little bit damaged. 25 out of 46 health. Oh, have you yeah. upgraded him again to level 3? Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Um, so he's got the battle radar now. Um, I think it only detects vehicles like uh, as like a sort of radar, um, sort of ground radar contact. What what does uh, what does that? What's that? Um, so he's got the he's got like a oh radar it? detection radar. detects yeah. the radar signatures of the following units within a range of seventy five ground yeah. units with a signature size of high. Oh, that's yeah. cool. So that'd be vehicles. So it's like a sort of it's like a low level mobile radar. Um. Oh, I didn't realise he could do that. I'll uh, I'll have use. to upgrade mine then. If you get that radar, that's good. Yeah, Just yeah. Healing mine up at the moment. Do you think you'll send yours back anytime soon for a healing, or are you just going to potentially? Um, yeah, I'm going to just crack on for now because uh, it'll be it'll be a few days for him to be fully healed. But once I've got enough of like everything else, and I don't necessarily rely on the infantry officer, um, probably send him back. Yeah. But yeah. Right now, that boost is just a bit too too valuable. Um, yeah, you've got some pretty nice stacks there of um, of troops, and 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 then more to join. Yeah. So you're looking good. You'll you'll do well in the Middle East. I'm I'm I kind of just yeah. I think I'm I'm set for for Europe now. I don't think I'll go anywhere else. I just need to concentrate all my forces now. I've been going for very high value units. Yeah, I don't know if that's the right choice or not, but I'm I'm about to uh, build a frigate in about six hours twenty minutes, and I'm I'm tempted to. Do you think I should wait till I've got one or two frigates till I have a crack at someone? In terms of air defence, imagine a whole co- coalition's air attack on on my stack of boats. One so, one is still pretty good because because you have the destroyers still have some resistance and then I think what are frigates have is it like six frigates are and six, then they've got the air envelope as well so I mean usually when planes attack a frigate they get hit on the way in then they get hit again when they attack and then they get hit on the way out wow um, unless they're quite sort of high level and fast um, in and out. But, um, yeah, the frigates usually do quite a bit. Uh, what I've got the option of doing is probably in time for the morning, mass a stack of five ships, four destroyers, and a frigate, and uh, and go for the Ukraine's home city, their yeah. capital, Kiev. Could take a couple of troops with me. Could put one in the stack of boats. How how? Big, can you stack boats? Um, to be honest, you, you could get with six. It doesn't. Um, I'm not sure what point they become really inefficient, but I think with six, they'll be like just over eighty percent. And at that point, they're not actually losing stats; they're just not gaining as much. Yeah, from the additional. But you know, you could do four destroyers, two frigates. That'd be fine. It wouldn't, you know. Well, what I'm thinking, Tim, is four destroyers, a frigate, and a transport with a troop. So they yeah, protect yeah. the Yeah, troop. that'll be fun. And then, when I'm sure <coughs> that there's no resistance, I can let one of the troops go and and try and take their their city. And then I can follow with a troop behind, just loose behind. So I've got two options with troops to try yeah. and take the home city. And that would be fairly devastating that blow because they've got a, an army base level 3 um, not a lot else in terms of high level bases anywhere else in the home city so I think they're kind of depending on that for production although they've got an army base level 2 in Odessa so maybe I could um, see if I can land a troop in there that's where I want Jonathan really to to coordinate t- an attack, but whether I take a Disa or not doesn't really matter. I mean, there's only two tiles in between Kiev and Odessa, so I could take 
Kiev and just see if the, the one troop can go for Odessa. You never know. There's nothing in Constanta, which is on the same island as my Istanbul. So they've kind of stretched out across the sea there. I've, uh, I've had a look there. There's nothing there with my plane. Yeah, that'd be an easy grab. Um, yeah, and I've got a little stack going up there, actually. But we'll have to think. Um, and then I've got Serbia. He's pushing. Is he going? He's pushing into Siberia. Um, yeah, he's also Ukraine. sort of pushing into Romania a bit further. He's trying to take over Russia, isn't he? So he can end that war. Yeah. So he's he's got a bit of a slogger about him, hasn't he? Because those are massive territories that can take a very long time to get through. Um, but the fact that I saw two troops going into his capital, I wonder what that was about. Maybe just wanting to reinforce it a bit more because he's vulnerable. Yeah. I've just been patrolling around with my uh, <coughs> aircraft to make sure there's nothing in, in the Black Sea, but there isn't. So I'm not too worried about being invaded at the moment, but after I hit him, then I'm going to be, yeah, really vulnerable because he's going to want he's going to want to hit back and retaliate after I trash his his capital. It'll send his morale plummeting, and he's going to be angry, and he's going to have quite a few troops, I'd imagine, because he's not. It doesn't look like he's overextended himself might have have outlying cities like St. Petersburg that's near Norway that might take a hit on morale it's on 36% already so I'll send it back below and um, could see that take taken over by the chosen so you're papping away into Afghanistan which is actually now Pakistan Pakistan yeah, it's all um, it's all a bit of a mess. It's, it's about sort of five or six different countries all jumbled together. Cool. Um, so the chosen. Imagine Pakistan. like it'll be quite easy to take. Yeah, uh, it looks just need as many troops. So like the chosen have taken a bit of a hold. They've got three yeah. cities. Yeah, yeah. Though they might be the toughest challenge I've come across, to be honest. <laughs> um. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm not at war with too many nations. Jonathan's tied up Ethiopia now. And he's cracking into East African Federation. And he's not a million miles away from Mozambique, who seemed to be quite a strong player, actually. They've abandoned Ethiopia and the East African Alliance. And they've, yeah, uh, okay, yeah. They're, they're expanding into that territory across the river into the whole South African bit. I wonder what they'll do next. Yep, Jonathan will have to be very careful of that situation. That's interesting. Yeah, it might sort of end up being half and half between Jonathan and Mozambique. Yeah. He's definitely keeping up. Yeah. I wonder if he's going to need more help with Mozambique or if he'll be alright. Because actually, on the peninsula where Jonathan is currently attacking through with his main front line that is where Mozambique's capital city is Jonathan would be wise to send some ships down there to harass it maybe yeah but I'm not sure what's going to happen there okay interesting well it looks like he's consolidating anyway and he's sitting on a few cities he, he said he was being absolutely trashed by the chosen last night but I, I didn't see it and I, I went on this morning and it had all, you know, it had all been done. So the only problem he's, he's got possibly is with Nalut, which is in the far west. Oh, yeah. He's not got any troops on there. I'm wondering if I can get someone over in time, actually. I might be able to hold that for him. All of you could. I'm going to try. Well, you've got, you've only got um, three hours and 15 oh, no. before midnight. It's going to take too long. Not going to be able to... Guys, four hours just to fly. Nah, I can't do anything about it. 
Never mind. But lots going on. The the main actions now in yeah Greater Serbia and and Greece, and then I'll I'll crack into the Ukraine. So yeah, this time tomorrow we could be in for quite an interesting episode if if I've if I've been successful with Kiev. You you never know. I know we, we don't know who's watching this. He could be watching and seeing my plans. So we'll have to see what's going to be waiting. I'll send my destroyers over to stack up near Istanbul. Near Istanbul. They'll be there in five hours. That destroyer's there. This one's just sort of hanging around waiting. Yeah, you'll stack up as well. So I'll have four destroyers and a frigate and I'll stack a troop in there. So I'll do that now. Okay, there we go. Troops on its way, destroyers, and then I'll have another troop just behind. And I'll send them out into the sea. Yeah, I may as well do that now. In fact, he's going to be moving a lot slower, isn't he, the troop, than the other ships. The troop that's stacked in with the ships will be fine. He'll be in the same speed and we'll just slow them down a bit. But the troop on his own, he's he's going to be going a lot slower, isn't he? So I'm going to send that troop up to the Crimea and hide in the Crimea. And then um, bounce out and follow the stack in. Hopefully. What do you think of that as a plan? Yeah, I think that's fine. I've just been looking at all these like waterways because um, they go quite deep into the sort of mainland Europe. Could potentially sort of just dot like frigates around in those in those rivers. Um, yeah, sort of little little traps for for aircraft flying around. Yeah, I think frigates are going to be really important here. Uh, the, on our See where you've got Tehran in Iran. Yeah. If you follow that from, if you go n directly north of Tehran till you're just slightly past the red Russian territories on the left, there's a, a convergence of points there that would yeah. close off the entrance to that bay where ultimately people could get into your home cities and, and mine. So I'd, I'd, I'd plan to put something there even if it's just a corvette um, but hopefully more so that would be a really good strategic point because it would also well yeah it would also tie off the entrance into the black sea toward me and my home counties so then i'd just have the ukraine to worry about so that will um there's there's a lot of strategic points and um, if you cover them all, that's a lot of ships <laughs> that's needed. Yeah. So we'll have to see how that goes. My infantry officer is healing. I sent him back out. He's a 21 out of 40 hit points and I need to upgrade him. It would be nice to have that radar advantage. And I've got nearly 1900 rare materials. And I've been thinking about the next thing I could research. So I could research theatre defence systems because I was getting a bit paranoid about missiles earlier because you know how all these big countries in Europe have just kind of stopped, except for Ukraine's kind of going out into Russia. But Poland's kind of stopped. Norway's paused, and I just do wonder if they're going after missiles or not. But I don't know, it's a bit early game to be going for that probably just building their armies the other option i've got is strike fighter and then maybe even naval f fighters because i was thinking how would i battle subs if someone had a big old stack of subs i'd have to have a big old stack of destroyers instead of like a mixed bag of, yeah. of you know destroyers cruisers and frigates so I'm, I'm gonna have to have a stack of destroyers i think to counter the threat of a stack of subs and and have them going with a stack of frigates and cruisers, maybe. 
I'm not sure to, to cover all the bases you end up having to <laughs> do an awful lot of stuff don't you to try and mitigate every situation so just thinking about next moves and just having a little patrol seeing if I can pick anything up on radar with my plane and I'm feeling a bit weary about Poland I feel as though they might be quite a strong player oh and and Brazil have you seen what's happening with Brazil they are kind of steamrolling look their continent look they've got the most cities out of anyone they've got 29 cities it's a bit of a game of cat and mouse with me and you on the number of cities behind them so I'm currently on 25 you're 24 um, Jonathan's on 22 so we're strong as a, a coalition very strong combined and there have been many times where you've had the most cities but I'm now uh, well we're both going into a period of city grabbing again aren't we where you're yeah. going into this mess here in the Middle East. And yeah, I'm, and you've I'm got crazy. quite a concentrated area there. Yeah. Yeah, but not a, not as many troops. I'm a bit, a bit thin on the ground with troops. So I'm building another motorised in Izmir. What am I building here? I'm not building anything here. So I could build some infantry and they will start in about 28 minutes in Istanbul. I'll do that keep dotting out the odd bit of infantry but I am quite keen on the tanks as well and the anti-air so I'll have another anti-air in one hour 13 minutes I'm just going to see if I can am I actually going for this ah yeah I've engaged them okay cool so <coughs> it's just one motorised infantry from Greater Serbia who was coming in to have a look, I think. And I've, I've, I've pretty much killed killed him in the first go. I'd, he's got 3.1 hit points left out of 15. Um, had an entrenched bonus there. And I've taken a minimal amount of damage for the stack. So as whenever the stack is back in a city, it will heal pretty quickly. Yeah, they've just taken sort of 10% damage. I think something else must have hit into them before. Maybe a bigger stack, and then just sending my infantry to to grab the land so that for the, for Alexandra Drilopolis or Alexandropoli, all the uh, neighbouring states will be taken. So it's a better bump for the for the morale. Okay, good. And then that stack can just go back. When they're finished, back in 47 minutes, hour and 47 minutes after the next attack. So yeah, I'll have a, a couple of, got a couple of Greek cities now. And then we'll keep keep grabbing them as time goes on. But with taking the Crimea in the middle of the Black Sea there, Ukraine must be asking questions now about our intentions. Basic National Guard. Okay, Jonathan's nearly finished in the Crimea anyway. He sent a plane out there to to hit him. Looking good. What are your thoughts on the direction of the game? Yeah, pretty good. We're all we're all doing well. Um, I think there is sort of plenty of easy land that we can all still grab. Yeah. Uh, from sort of semi-active or inactive players. I'll probably I'll probably sort of create like a clean border. Um once I've taken Pakistan, I'll probably leave it at that point, head further north and maybe like curve around a bit, take Turkmenistan and I, I could potentially sort of link up um with you and Ukraine coming from the other side. That might take me a little while to get there. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Open up the. <laughs> yeah, he he won't be be too happy about that. Uh, right. Make his home cities vulnerable from the the east, basically instead of just the south. Yeah. So that would be cool. That would unsettle him. Um. And it would give us another in to Poland as well. 
Jack's there sitting pretty, all protected in the middle of all that so far. France looks like they've still done absolutely nothing. But maybe they're still building. Maybe a fairly inactive player, but still part of their alliance. I mean, it'd be nice to crack into France and get rid of them, but either way, they're probably not, not doing a lot. Do you remember when, um, whenever Jonathan's doing his advance, it looks like an absolute crime scene, doesn't it? With all his stuff everywhere. <laughs> Starting to look that way with me now <laughs> until I'm on a, an expansion out. But just the beginnings of one. And I've got yeah. two troops joining Istanbul from um, a little boat coming up the up the river. And uh, I've got uh, I've got a Sheridan tank and a motorized infantry actually going into Sam Sun. So maybe I can just take these two combat recons and infantry at midnight and just take them over to Istanbul and go for that. Just keep land grabbing around here, taking Greater Serbia and Greece. I don't know if Greece are very active. Maybe because they took Sofia. We'll have to see. What are you researching and building at the moment, Tim? Let's have a look. Um, so I've... I did start a uh, full round of arms industries yesterday. Nice. Um, Whoa. Really trying to just boost the... Yeah, I need to, I need to oh. boost all of my resources, really. Yeah, um, taken it up to level three. Oh, and you've started level four. Oh, that's yeah. very good. Yeah. Um, it's just, yeah, you, you really do munch through those supplies. Like, you need to be at least you need to get in on for like three hundred an hour, really. Um, before you're really comfortable. Yeah, um, I'm struggling with components in the same way. So you've got a supplies heavy army, and I've got a components heavy army. Um, yeah, shall I tell you what I've got coming in at the moment? Yeah, go on. Two hundred and sixty-five supplies an hour. 213 components so supplies I've got wrapped up it's easy and I think it's because I've taken more supply cities as well I haven't got that many component cities so we look at the resources one two three four five six seven eight nine supply cities but I've got five component cities so I've just built underground bunkers on all my component cities and then yeah, going up to arms, arms industry level four on my two main, main component cities. But I'll, I should get. Well, there's one component city down there in Greece, which will be a, a good addition. It's a component tile, that'll be nice. And then hmm, the component city for Greater Serbia is right there in the, in the Badlands. Yeah. Where they join with New Yugoslavia, Ukraine, not far from Poland. Hmm. Ukraine. Yeah, so, he is a high level player. Should we have a look at him? So, go on diplomacy, don't you? And then. Ukraine's there, 17 cities. Click on the information tab. It gives you some overall stats. So rank 43 is quite high. You've got to play for quite a while to get that, that many points. And then if you click on the player's name, it takes you off to another bit, which gives you all his stats. So games joined. It's done 78 games. Captured 12,000 provinces. Um... So yeah, that's quite a lot. Quite an active player, quite experienced. Um, what do you look out for on their stats, Tim? Um, so to be honest, like main, mainly uh, win rate. Um, so he's got coalition win five, solo win zero. Five out of seventy eight games. Is that? Mm, it's not a huge threat, is it? It's not. Not particularly. You can see the the stuff he uses. So he doesn't really use missiles. He's he's kind of used six missiles, I think. He's ha he does the officers. 
Um, he does. That's a good point, actually. Navel. He doesn't do a lot of subs, which is good news for me. But he does go for the navel, and from the looks of his um, his naval bases, he's got level two naval base, so he's he's on corvettes and frigates. He's not got any destroyers yet, because they're level three. Um, not many helicopters, mainly on fighters. So he likes his fighters. He likes his his boats, and then he yeah he loves his in- infantry and um, even armored infantry. And and then there's the the support vehicles, which we don't we don't know what they are, but probably you know things like radar and anti air. So he looks like a, a pretty conventional player. Yeah. To be honest, I think you do overpower him at this point in pretty much every, in pretty much every way. Um, and I think if you did just go straight for Kiev or Odessa, like it might just make him panic, and he might just, yeah. you know, feed all his troops into you uh, and just leave the game. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, he won't have strike fighters. Would you keep um, at least a couple of your troops in my capital, just yeah, in yeah. case there's a bad reaction? Just a couple, and I'll ask Jonathan if he can do the same. And I'll have a l- quite a lot of defence by then in the capital, and I'll ha- certainly have a lot of boat support. I can sp- split my boats out. I mean, if I don't meet any boats on the way in, he's not going to magic any any up within an hour or two, unless he's a gold player, which I doubt. And, and actually his naval base is in Odessa so I could um, hit Kiev and then go back to Odessa and take out his naval base and then yeah just kind of sit pretty really maybe split my, my boats up and um, defend any potential counter attack but we, we could then potentially or certainly I can crack into him with whatever I've got still not got a huge army built up because I've gone for such high value units but in there so once I've pumped out these two SAMs I can go back on the tanks I think I want to get loads more armoured fighting vehicles so sort of stack them up if we look at the next fighting vehicle that won't be started until 21 hours and completed in about one day 16 hours that's not too bad building my army base level 4 on my domed city so I can uh, build rocket launchers and I'm building a recruiting office actually in Istanbul so I can pump out tanks a bit quicker but really I need to up up my component production pig time oh 1900 rare materials that means I can build something but if I wait until I've got 2400 rare materials I can start uh, researching cruiser I'd really like a cruiser in water world where the water is power I'd like a cruiser. What sort of stuff are you researching next? Um, at the moment, um, I've got the level two um, airborne infantry upgrade and the level three airborne officer upgrade. Um, level three airborne officer basically turns him into kind of like a recon vehicle. Um, gives him like 40 range uh, 40 sight range um, it's quite useful because what you can do is you can drop him outside a city sort of spy on it and then just air assault into it if it's empty um, nice so yeah that's a decent little tactic you can use with the recons as well because uh, they, they can air assault so yeah you can sort of check out yeah. the cities and then drop into them if they're empty and but recons can't take land, can they? So you no, nah, they can't. Yeah. <clears throat> They're kind of like more just like the muscle, um, high infantry damage. Can't yeah. do much against tanks, but yeah, just just more of a sort of, well, yeah, recon. Okay, looking it's good. Hurting. Well, I think that's probably it for this episode. Join us in the next episode where crazy stuff's going to be happening. Um, thank you for watching it's goodbye from me goodbye from me over and out